this is dr sangeeta and welcome back to another lecture of dental patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way and today's topic we are going to cover while the development of the teeth take place so before the eruption while the teeth is still developing so whatever the disease which is associated because of the developmental defects so if there is any abnormality in the development because of that if what it can cause so we'll be studying of course the reason also and the disease and its features as well so today's video we are going to cover the developmental defects or anomalies which are associated with the teeth so without further ado let's get started <laughs> So guys welcome to our 5 in 5 series wherein we cover each topic under 5 headings in 5 minutes. So today's topic we are going to cover the three topics germination, fusion and concrescence. And before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future video lecture. So germination the 5 points, fusion 5 points, concrescence 5 points. Germination as the word suggests Gemini. Gemini is a zodiac sign. If you can see at the look at the picture of the zodiac sign now, it represents the twins. That means the twinning. So there is going to be the one root but it will split into two crowns. So in the germination the first point is it is the twinning and the one root is splitting up into two crowns. So and because of that there is going to be one root canal present most of the cases it will it is going to be only one root canal because the crown is splitting up into two. So the second point is there is going to be one root canal. Now coming talking about fusion there are two buds which fuse or merge to form a one crown. So like a kind of situation like this if you can see in the example. So there are two crowns and there are two canals separate canals but the two crown they fuse to form a single crown which is our fusion as the name suggests fusion means the two tooth buds are going to fuse to each other germination means twinning so there is going to be a one root but there is going to be two crowns splitting into two right so first let's just talk about germination and fusion third point is how do you separate it clinically because once if you look at clinically both will look similar then you are going to count the number of tooth. So suppose if all the third molars are missing and rest of the teeth are present then the count should be 28 right. What happens if the count is 28 that means the germination if this enlarged tooth we take as 1. So the number of count tooth total tooth count is going to be normal. But what about the fusion once we take we consider this crown as one and we count the number of tooth in the oral cavity and suppose if all the third molar are missing then the count comes 28 minus 1 because two tooth we are counting as one. This is the basic common sense. Two tooth when we are counting as one then there is going to be reduction in the one. So the total number of tooth count will come as 27 in case of fusion. So this is how we clinically differentiate into germination and fusion germination the, the tooth count is normal see this is the common sense you don't have, even have to remember this because fusion because we the fusion is when the two teeth are combining together and we when we are counting two teeth as one there will be definitely going to be shortage of tooth count number one minus one right then now we have three points we have read separately and two points will be re we will read in the common so region the most common region which is affected by germination or fusion is the maxillary anterior teeth and if you look at it is usually uh, see these maxillary anterior especially if we talk about the incisors and lateral are the most common maxillary affected teeth prevalence is it is usually present in the primary dentition. Permanent dentition, it is less present and both the dentition are affected with the germination or fusion. This is very minimal chances. So 0.5% chances are there that fusion or germination, any of this will be present in 0.5% of the population. 0.1% incidences in case of permanent teeth and both the dentition, it is very, it is least I must say 0.02%. 
Now this is about the germination and fusion. Let's talk about concrescence now. Concrescence is union of two adjacent tooth by the cementum. Now when this happens, first of all, this is of course a developmental defect because we are studying under the development. But most of the time it is post-inflammatory. Now let me explain you the whole procedure, what happens. Suppose this is our second molar. Right. What uh, Now what happens when there is a horizontal impaction or we can say when there is a distoangular impaction and we have studied in the surgery in case of a distoangular impaction the roots are closer right roots are kissing each other otherwise d means we have studied d means divorce right so the both are separated far far so the crowns are far away right so suppose this is the second molar this is the third molar now what happens there is when there is an inflammation there is a large pulpal exposure in case of second molar now the pulp there is a pulpal drainage which is going to lead to resolution of the intra bony pattern so there is going to be resolution of a portion of intra bony pattern and when the cemental repair takes place the cementum is forming now cementum is forming around the third molar also so because of this there is going to be hyper cementosis right now the second third and fourth point are clear Mostly it is a post-inflammatory when the second molar has a large pulpal exposure. When there is a pulpal drainage, it will lead to resolution of a portion of intra bony pathosis. And because of the cemental repair, the cementum of two teeth fuses together when the root of third molar is an approximation to the root of second molar. When does this happen? Either it is the horizontal or it is distally present. See, mesioangular impaction, the crown is close to the second molar, right? We have already studied in the impaction. So, there is going to be involvement in the maxillary second molar region, hypercementosis because of the cemental repair process and because of these. this, when we are ex doing the extraction, then we have to go for the surgical extraction in this case because when we are removing this crown, so we have to remove it surgically. See, fusion and germination, uh, if it is present in the permanent teeth, then we do the root canal treatment. This is, see, th these all are the basic sense. Because when two teeth are present and when aesthetic is involved, what do you do? You just do the root canal treatment, then you do the tooth preparation, you give the crown, that's it. And in case of gemination or fusion, when it is present in the primary teeth. Now, because, see, if there is, we are not extracting and if crowding is there, because of germination or fusion in the primary teeth, then definitely there will be crowding in the permanent teeth or there will be delayed eruption of the permanent teeth and we don't want this to happen. So in the primary teeth, if it is creating the crowding, then we extract it. I hope that you guys are clear with the gemination, fusion and concrescence. So gemination is the remember, always remember the zodiac sign, the twinning. That means one into two. So there is going to be a single root canal most of the time. And the tooth will count as one because this is a single tooth only. Then coming to fusion, two teeth are fused together. So two teeth will have a separate root canal. And if we count this teeth as one, then of course there will, there will be a shortage of one teeth. Most prominent, most prevalence it is seen in the primary teeth and most commonly it occur in the maxillary anterior region. Concrescence, always remember C for concrescence and C for cementum. So, concrescence is union by the cementum, mostly it is post-inflammatory and the concrescence is seen in the posterior region, while germination and fusion is seen in the primary region. So, the th five points, uh, it is the twinning, one root into two crowns, one root canal, tooth count uh, normal and region and prevalence. For fusion, uh, this remains the, like this, two to tooth bud fused to form one. The separated canals for both of these and the tooth count, if we consider this as one, there will be shortage of one, the region and the prevalence. Concrescence or uh, union cementum, hypercementosis, post-inflammatory, mostly maxillary second molar involved when there is a large pulpal exposure and when the third molar is lying, just the roots of third molar are lying closer to the roots of second molar which is usually in case of a horizontal impaction or distoangular impaction we have to remove it surgically so guys this is about the germination fusion and concussions i hope that you guys have enjoyed the video so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and also you can comment in the comment section below and in the link in the description below there is a chance to support me on paytm as well as on paypal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes available to you as soon as possible so guys till then Keep reading, keep sharing.
keep learning stay motivated and i'll see you soon in the next video